Hello YouTube, this will be System Test 12. This will be a system test only. I will not be dealing with the security system today, it will just be a system test. Nothing has really changed with the panel. Something just fell. But, you can see, nothing's really changed. It is a little junky, I know. No, 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 the wiring has changed. My Gentex Commander 3 for the buzzer is in the panel today. Same stuff. First thing that has changed that has to do with fire safety. I added a smoke detector up here. It's not actually hooked up. Nor does it have a battery in it. But and it doesn't really work too well, but I just put it up here for some extra protection. I'll put a battery in it soon. Up here we have a Gentex Commander 3 on strobe only. You can see these, this set of wires are for another pole station. The wiring has definitely changed because I added a new pole station. A new pole station spot and new pole station. Right here's the back box. I need to put the screw in. But if we follow these wires, there are these wires right here. Can't see too well because of the light, but it goes to an elbow. This wasn't here last test. It goes right here to the keypad. You know that was changed last test. But this little piece of conduit that goes to my Faraday 405001T. That's right. I haven't done an unboxing video of it, but I'll do a review on it separate. And, wait, Gentex Commander 3 here? Gentex Commander 3 here. So you think the System Sensor L series is on the other side? That's not the case. You would think that this would be in that spot up there. Again, really not the case anymore. My desk is a little junky. This actually goes to a new device. And it matches the pole station. And that is my EST Genesis white horn strobe. It, this is actually a horn strobe and it sounds just like the Genesis. I did not get the mini version, the mini horn version. That's what it's like inside of it. Nothing really to block any of the sound, so it's going to be blaring loud. But I don't think this device is actually too loud. I have it set on, I think it's 30 candela. If we put the cover back on, if we put the, the cover back on. I'm sorry, is that 15? I think that's one, no, I'm sorry, that's 110. I might change that, I might change it to 30. And then the same pull station that's been here, like always. I don't have a trim plate for it, so I use a little back box adapter that um, I just had. So, now I come out see single gang devices on a double gang spot. Because you know all my devices are double gang. But can be mapped on single gang spot. But now I come out with things that are only single gang. So either way we're going to go get my hair and protection on. And then we're going to start actually in this room. Actually we'll start in this room for, for a change. I know you want to hear the Genesis, but I want to start by pulling the first pull station. Sorry for that pause there. I was trying to get this and I must have accidentally hit the record button. But anyways, what I was saying, I see, I've see, i seen these inside of a building before as a common setup. i also seen those in the building as a common setup. I don't think this is common, but I've seen it inside of a building, so I was like, why not? 
like I said, that's on strobe only. And we're going to start by pulling this pull station. No, I said I was going to use the other one, but I think I want to start with the new one. Anyways, let me make sure that my alarms are enabled. Yes, they are. Without further ado, three, two, one. We're going to go in the other room. Not too loud. You hear the panel buzzer going off. You notice this switch right here? I was trying to do it to where I pulled this pulse station. And I go right back and I go and pull that pull station. Well, I gotta find a way to isolate the two uh, the two outputs because if I need to sound this pull station, the it would actually just feed right back through this switch and then still activate the alarm. So I gotta find a way to I was gonna use I think I'm gonna use relays to isolate the pull stations. So like I can activate this pulse station, and after that go activate that pulse station. Pulse station and still activate. But right now we gotta reset this pulse station. I'll show you what happens if I go ahead and activate it. So if I go ahead and activate this pulse station, you see nothing happens. What you expect? Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and reset this one. We won't need my keys for this one. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. And then it resets by itself. Sorry about that. That's all it is. I'll show you the inside of it. You can see that the switch, it automatically flips up when I go to reset it. You can see that's normal. This is, if I were to flip it up, uh oh, I gotta go find that. If I were to flip it up, you can see that's activated. I flip it up, allow it to reset, it's just a normal. Now that, that just fell. I know what fell. It was the screw. I gotta go find that. But not right now. But I gotta go find that. Alright, well, we'll leave it like this for now, and I'll go find this screw later. And we'll just reset the panel. I don't know if it was like this in the last test either, but let's say, here, let me see. Let's say that the security system goes into fire alarm. No, nothing's hooked up right now. And I go and reset it. You can see that the panel turned off. I did that so like any any future smoke detectors, they would reset without me having to change some of the wiring in here. You can see now it's back in alarm. All right. Like I said, we'll just, we'll just leave this like this. All right, we're gonna pull this pull station and activate the genesis again. All right, you've seen this one so many times. You lift this and then you pull. So.
come up. Come on now. We'll leave that locked. It's very simple to operate. Again, if you want me, if you want to, uh, if you want me to show you how to make this type of panel, please put it down in the comments. That way, I can just show you how to make it. And this is not my original idea to make this type of panel. I've said it plenty of times, so don't think I copied whoever made this panel. I'll show you how to make this type of panel. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. We're good. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like the video. And have a great day. Either way. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like the video. And have a great day. Bye.